Hello guys, this is Ants Galaxy, and in this video, uh, I'll be showing you my Carpenter Ant Queen. It is species Campanotus vagus, and uh, it is my largest queen. I have caught her this year in April. I think it was mid to late April. That's uh, the normal time uh, when these ants fly. Uh, I mean they have their nuptial flights. I really like this colony because it's the largest and they are polymorphic. If you don't know what that means, uh, it means that they, uh, their workers are not in one size. They can be either really small or really large and in the various shapes. It all depends on their stage of development. Uh, they won't be uh, enormous in this stage. There will be just nanetics, which are her first generation of workers. They are small due to lack of food during her foundation process. And that is uh, because the queen feeds only on the remaining muscle from her wings. Uh, she has been really successful and energetic because I have fed her honey every once a week. Depends uh, how often did I came to check up on her. And if you haven't noticed, this is my first narration video and I have bought a new camera. It is really really nice, has a decent zoom and I think that I will be using it in the future. It actually didn't cost a lot of money, so I'm happy. And uh, the next video I make will be um, when she gets her first nanetics workers, and then I will move her into a tubs and tube setup. If you don't know what that is, you should check up uh, on Ants Australia's tutorial. It's basically the simplest of all setups. You just take a tub or a container, however you want to call it. Uh, you can put some uh, soil in it or you don't need to, however you want it. Uh, the less thing you put in there, uh, the less problems you have with cleaning up. So I have just put a thin layer, thin layer of sand. And it is waiting for her workers and then I will move them in. Uh, I am advising you if you are going to do that in the nearby future before she gets her workers that you don't moisture the gradient because they might move uh, in or start building with the gradient uh, because they would think it's a better suitable nest for them. Um, I think that she has approximately from 9 to 10 pupae, I can't count uh, correctly, a uh, few larvae and she has uh, her, her eggs, uh, a new batch which I really like because I think that she will be able to reach around 15 to 20 workers this year and that is a lot, especially for carpenter ants. Uh, and in the future videos, I will show you my vivarium. I have already made it. I'm sorry, but I wasn't able to record because I didn't have a good camera. And it, I'm really happy how it came out. Uh, I used an old aquarium. It has um, a sort of barrier of glass, so there's like it's connecting thirds, two thirds is a hole and one third is where I uh, am housing my ant. I'm sorry guys, the camera went off for a moment, I accidentally pressed something. I'm back, so I was saying about um, my new vivarium. Uh, the, it's really old, so it is beat up, but I like how it came out and I'll show it in the re uh, my future videos and well goodbye uh, I will s my I write in the comments the uh, long name of the camera the full name and I s advise you buy it if you want to take pictures or 
videos of ants it's really helpful helpful and it's really nice for me it's easy to control and I really like it for now so bye and till the next video